Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We have got our rune blade, we have got our crystal shield, we have got our twist headband, we have got our power sleeve, and we got this elf mantle that we bought in a store. Anyway, I still think it's pretty impressive, though. So yeah, like I said, I handle the farming behind closed doors. Um, there are knights who show up in Mandalia Plains along with goblins, um, quars, and some horses. Quars were probably the most dangerous of them. As they could actually have, as they actually had a movement speed of four, so they could keep up with us. You think the horses will be dangerous, but the simple fact of the matter is they go down in one swing, uh, whereas the quars do not. Especially considering the quars have much higher evasion, and furthermore, it's very easy to s separate the horses from the rest of the enemies. So it was pretty easy to take them down in one punch before they could use horse cure. So we have got those two things. It took me whew, probably the better part of the day, like. I think I started farming around 2 or so, and it's 6. I think it took like an hour break. Um, took me a damn long time, but uh, this should make following battles easier. I did the calculations. This is something like 252 damage uh, per swing and for the... Uh, uh, for the Geomancy, we've got... Times 11, times 11. We're hitting for 88 uh, Geomancy damage without uh, putting on any Geomancy-specific gear. Now, you may have noticed, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm recording this a little bit differently than I, than I usually do. I'm running the emulator in a window and just recording that specific window rather than how I normally do it. Um, this is so that I can have easier access to uh, web browsers to look information up, and it's less likely to cause some of the odd little errors that pop up every now and again. So, we'll see how well this works, and uh, we'll get started. Orban Monastery. All right, our first battle is up against uh, three Lancers, which is actually going to make this somewhat tricky, um, especially if they can get a chance to try to jump on us, which I'm pretty sure they will. On the plus side, we do have a crap ton of health and uh, a massive amount of evade. The Crystal Shield has got a 40% evade rate on physical and a 15% evade rate on magical, and that's the best shield in the game, excepting, of course, preferring Aegis Shield or Flame Shield or Ice Shield, depending on the circumstances. So, we'll go and make a save file. Start. We only need the one, and we'll try to get through all three of these today. I actually think that this one might be the hardest, simply because it's not an assassination battle. Um, however, as long as they can't jump on me, I mostly have to worry about just uh, not getting hit in the first place, because they hit hard, and I don't have that much HP. I think three direct lance hits will kill me. So we're going to start far in... Actually, we don't have to start far in the back. We can start in the front, and... Uh, We'll drop a Geomancy and then retreat. Because we're guaranteed to go first before the Lancers, and that means that they've got a free reign to jump on me if they've got the range. Alright. Let's see. Can't really hit multiple, so let's see. That guy's got bad Zodiac on us. However, he's the one in the front, and we'd like him to not act. Alright. Um, yeah, so we're just going to like move to this back corner here. We just simply can't afford to let them jump on me. Because if they do, that's pretty much... That's over half my health, I think. If they can land a successful jump. And jump's got a 100% hit rate, so... Oh god, hasted lancers. Alright, good. The guy doesn't have the range. I don't know what the range... There's no way to really check the range on these guys' jumps, but I don't think it's that far. At least we got Kamaitachi. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I don't know if there's... Uh... Yeah, there's no way to check what their jump range is. Um, so I have to stay at least three spaces away so that they can't uh, lance me normally, although that's not so bad. Oh, looks like they, that guy's got enough jump range. That's the one with bad Zodiac, though, so that's not so bad. Really, uh, the, actually, the chemist, I think... Yeah, okay, ugh. Not so bad as a relative statement. He still managed to do 77 damage. Um, was that a throw? Okay, good. This guy doesn't have high potion. Does he have a gun? He doesn't have high potion, nor does he have a gun, which makes him almost negligible in terms of threat. Am I bad Zodiac against both these guys? No, oh, I'd pretty much have to be, wouldn't I? Whoa, I am worse Zodiac against both of these guys. Fancy Dan. 
All right, but fortunately, Don't Act has a one hundred has uh, is not affected by Zodiac, so I got one thing that's not limited by there by the Zodiac. All right, so we got two Lancers Don't Acted, which is pretty good. Hopefully, our shield will block that. I don't know if that was a shield or the mantle. Who cares? I got uh, what is it? 15 to 25% dodge chances on those. Again, we're just going to keep hammering the Lancers. They're the only threat here. And we're getting really lucky with those Don't Axe. Um, we might be able to finish this on the first try. And the only reason we'd be able to do that is because of the Don't Axe. The Lancers just. Um, there's, really no, there's really nowhere to run in this map. Unless you got, unless I had a, enough jump to jump up and down the ledges, but really the stairs are the only way to go. Yeah, uh, I think thieves and dancers might be able to achieve that. Uh, what is he casting? Demi. Okay, that's got a low. That doesn't have a great hit rate, so I think I'm going to keep focusing on the five, four, three, two, one. So, oh shit, I can't get close enough. So I'll just have to settle for hitting two of them. Refresh. Oh, God. Wow, we're getting really lucky here. Yep, guarded. I thought so. Son of a bitch. Well, the other hand, they can't act. Oh, this guy I think it's worn off on. Alright, but he's not close enough. Alright. Normally I'd ignore those guys, but uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, source. When they're all lined up like that, I really don't... Uh, I'd be a fool to turn that offer down. No don't axe, though. Oh, one of them has a high potion. Or maybe that guy has always had high potion. I'm not... Oh, wait, it's the... Oh, my God, the, uh... The time age is a better chemist than the chemist. Oh, God, I hate this guy. Oh, son of a bitch. Well, at least he died for his crimes. Alright, 50% chance... Oh, shit. Oh, he keeps using basic skill. Um, uh, what's he using? Don't move. Well, we can't really take any more hits, and this guy's got a 100% hit rate on jump, and we'll have a hard time running away from him, so we better try to finish him off. Excellent. Okay. I really wish Thostone triggered a... God damn it. We're running really low on health here. All right, we'll, oh shit, we can't circle back around this guy anymore. And that's not going to kill him either, so... Ray. Yes! What is he charging? He's charging don't move. Okay, that's... There are worse things in life to be hit by. Okay. Oh, fuck, he's got Phoenix. Well, fortunately, as we established in Golgarin, that means they're just going to run away. Um, and that's something we can... Might as well knock him down, as that'll keep the... Yeah, unfortunately I can't really run away, so I might as well just keep the CT. Uh, but I think he's still in um, range, and he'll go down. I can take them both out, I think. And that'll keep the chemist busy. Awesome, we really needed that. Okay, uh... We just want to stay out of the chemist's knife range. Fuck! Ugh. Zombie attacks. Never occurred to me. Alright, uh... Hold on a minute, ladies and gentlemen. I seem to be failing at resetting. There we go. Forgot to put a save state at the uh, start of the fight. Didn't I save in there? Oh! Wait, it said Door to Trade City, didn't it? And we're in Orvon. I'm so confused. Well, whatever. Now, I forgot to make a save state again, and I'm trying to avoid uh, setting it up at the beginning of the battle, unless we get to really repetitious ones, like... I'll probably keep a save state at the beginning of the battle with, say, Wygraf and Veli, simply because, you know, 
that goes on forever, and it's going to repeat a lot. Well, probably. I don't know. We'll see how well Velius, why Graf and Velius goes. We've got a lot of power. Come on, don't act. Unfortunately, we're going to have a hard time getting that lucky again. I mean, we like landed those don't acts, well, as they say, like a boss. Although we also have bad zodiacs, which kind of meant we couldn't use our little head start on the enemies to finish them off first. On the other hand, it also meant we didn't take too much damage from jumps. Oh, fuck. Yeah, see? Half my health. This is why this is going to be the hardest battle. This is going to be one of the hardest battles of the run. Of the, uh, of this particular set of battles. It's a good thing this is a um, Kamaitachi floor, though, uh, which is really great. Stop doesn't last as long, and more importantly, stop doesn't force the enemy to... Um, this is, Stop doesn't let the enemy run away. So... Oh, god damn it. Well, better than haste, I guess. I guess. Alright. Oh, son of a bitch. Um... If I go for it, I'm going to get attacked. If I hang back, I'm probably... No. No. Oh, damned if I do, damned if I don't, except unless you get a... Don't act. Yeah, and that causes them to run away, which buys me a little bit more space, and it lasts longer. As we're getting into these later battles, the status effects are starting to last longer and be more individually useful, which is pretty good. Alright. Um... Oh, no, no. Stupid haste. Ruin my perfect setup. Five, four, three, two, one, source, okay. Keep my back against the wall. And pray. Mm, no status. But the don't act didn't wear off in time. The potions really aren't that impressive. Alright. Um, we're gonna ignore the possibility of this hitting, but if it hits, we're probably just gonna reset. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, so... That's, uh... Well, we're gonna have to get lucky to win this battle, so we might as well just take the chances. Mm. And we're dead. See what I mean, guys? I did kind of want to do this before level 35, but I wouldn't be able to get, um... This, uh, the other equipment, which would really help against... Actually, is loot more than Wygraf. Wygraf's actually not that hard. We just run up there and stab him. Um, this battle, though, is gonna take some time. Um, it's really just gonna rely on luck, them not having very good jump distances, and, uh, lots of don't accent landing. But, this is really one of the hardest battles in an SCC. So, it's, yeah, it says Daughter Trade. Okay, now it says Orban, as it should. I think that might be a side effect of the, um, change, screwing around with the save state. Okay, so, the dangerous attacks here are not stuff we can avoid normally. Now, granted, that'll help us avoid, uh, those, but, um, let's take a diamond armlet. That'll give us, give our geomancy more oomph, and, um, it'll help us also prevent slow, which is much more likely to land, especially considering we're not wearing the elf mantle anymore, so... We're doing, uh, what, 17 times 12 times 0.5, 102 damage per Geomancy. Uh, I don't remember how much health the Lancers have, but on the lower end of their health scale, I think that's enough to two-shot them. And two-shotting is, that's definitely enough to two-shot the Time Mages. So this might be the best, uh, strategy. Um, am I missing any gear that, I could equip my Aegis Shield, and in fact, I think I'm going to do that next time. That'll give me another plus one MA. And let me dodge... Uh, let's see. Okay, it's not quite two-shot territory, but it's closer for some of the ones that I have normal or good Zodiac with. And if we equip the Aegis Shield, that should be enough. Alright, well that guy's we've got bad Zodiac with, so... Him hitting us isn't a total loss. Alright. Well, no haste on the Lancer, that's good. Time Mage is hasting themselves so they can haste other people faster. Okay, um... I think I have enough to take one more jump. I'm not certain if that's, uh, enough. Alright, well this guy will be criticaled. I'm gonna go and save CT. It's a bit of a risky maneuver, but I kinda wanna reset to try it with, um... Age of Shield anyway. 
Oh, how kind of them to get all lined up. Am I going to get it out of turn so that I can use it? Come on, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. Yes! Ah, crap, I have to move closer. Five, four, three, two, one, source. Yeah, really, no matter how I, else I spell it, it's closer than I'd like. But, again, we're going to have to get lucky if we want to win this battle, so... Phoenix down. Crap. Excellent. Yeah, that's the kind of shit we're going to need if we're going to win this. Oh, God. Lancers. Either hasted or don't acted. Don't act, don't tell. No, oh, he's not going to follow me. All right. Well, they're all still critically in they're all critically injured and they're not going to get healed at a fast enough rate. So we might have this. It's going to be kind of a slow slog, but basically the lancers are the only threat. And once they're critical, even if they keep getting resurrected, they're uh Okay. Uh 5 4 3 2 1. Sorry. We do need to keep making progress on the chemist though. We need to keep them busy with corpses, but now oh, good. I'll put him behind on his workload. What is he charging? Hopefully slow. <laughs> Don't move. Shit. Oh well. The chemist isn't healing anybody, patching anybody up, so... We use this time to take on the time mages. He's got his actions back, but... Uh-oh. Anybody catch the number of that truck? You know, someday I'm going to remember to place that save state at the... the you know what? I'm just going to load up the data. Someday I'm going to remember to place that save state at the start of the next match. Yeah, that must be through some of the quirks of how the save states work, because the files are saved external, externally. So yeah, plus one, uh, yeah, we don't have as much, uh, avoidance, but, uh, this will give us even stronger geomancy. What are we up to now? Um, 16 times 12 times 0.5. 96 base? I thought we were doing more than that. Hold on, let me double check my math. 16 times 12 times point. Huh, I could have sworn we were putting out more damage. Oh, right, because we were also using the, um... Diamond armor. So now how much are we doing? 17 times 13 times 0.5. We're putting out 110, 111 damage. I don't remember how it rounds. I think it rounds down. So I think we're doing 110, which is definitely enough to critical the G the Lancers in two shots. And once we can critical them both, and once we can critical them, we're on our way to victory. So this is, uh... I'm trying to think. Um... I mean, sure, that'll give a little bit more damage... But yeah, I think this is the best uh, setup. So, relatively high geomancy without sa although we're kind of sacrificing our ability to do things other than geomancy. Sure, we can still hit fairly hard, but uh, we're uh, we've given up our great uh, evasion for. Sorry about the creaky uh, couch. We've given up our great evasion for. Uh, Lots of power and elemental. So it's enough to two shot critical any of them. Maybe if we're really lucky. Probably not kill any of them unless they've got good zodiac. Apparently I must have done the. Oh, god damn it. Alright, I think he's gonna do high damage though. With damage like that, I might as well just restart. Especially considering the range he's got on jump. Yeah. Well, let's see how things are in my next turn. Maybe I'll get lucky. And, nope. Not any particularly good setups. So let's go again. Yep, this is really going to be the hardest battle of this series of battles, including Wygraph 2. Wygraph 2 is just going to be swing, swing, dead. We'll have to restart so that both hits get through his um, shield, but really, other than that, 
he's not that hard. Izu is a little bit harder, but we'll just go full defensive and just kind of plow through. Can we hit? Okay, no, this isn't much better in terms of hitting people, but it does let us start a little bit further back, considering we always ran this way. Get a slightly more tolerance on the range of the jump for these guys. Alright. This probably wouldn't have been much better if I, di if I didn't level up. Uh, because the simple fact of the matter is... Okay. Getting past the first jump isn't that bad, actually. It's just the future jump, so it's probably worth the effort. Alright. Okay. Esto. Alright. Uh, these two. No, don't ask. And we'll retreat to the corner. So not really well suited to uh, actually <laughs> taking these guys face on with our crappy shield and no mantle. They're really pretty much completely reliant on uh, crippling them before they get a chance... Oh, shit. Crippling them before they get a chance to actually take a swing at me. Shell. I assume that this is... I'm pretty sure elemental is magic damage, so yeah, that's not good. Um, yep. Yeah. However, it'll kill this guy. And we might... No, no, don't act. Alright, so he's going to be able to hit us. Or, oh, if we get into the corner, can we... No, we can't make it into that corner. Um, this guy will go down a bit easier, though, so I'd rather face him. Hooray for luck, guys! A uh, block on a relatively low... On a chapter 1 percentage and a fatal counter flood. Alright, we've got two of them dead. Well, one, they're going to be on and off dead until I take care of the chemist. But like I said, once the Lancers are no longer a threat... Alright, um... Sorted! Alright! We're, we're looking pretty good here. We have to keep up the pressure and make sure the Lancers never get healed too much. But the... Well, I don't want to say the uh, Time Ages are absolutely no threat because... Oh, god damn it. Time, oh, this is going to be hard. If a time mage has a uh, phoenix down. Alright, that's good. Alright, let's start uh, heading down heading down the stairs so we can try to run away a little bit. Jeez. You guys are just complete support units for their badass lancers. Wow, I'm getting great on the blocks here. Uh, how much does this do? Oh, yeah. Why risk the miss? Alright, that one's down. He won't be able to act, and then uh, I'll be able to kill him, and there won't be any more with um, Phoenix down. Yep, especially if we keep the distance. The odds of them having the range and the height uh, jumps are pretty low. Okay, he's going to be able to get to me, so I want to change my... You know, I can't get far enough to change my height. Well, he'll have to get no closer than here, I think, and this is a, a height difference of three, so... Go for... Oh, Cure. Okay, I'm not going for haste, which is good. Alright. No more Lancer for you. I'll just save CT. And he's trying to go kill me the only way he knows how. And I'm going to beat the crap out of him. Awesome. Okay, so that there we go. Yeah, that battle was pretty much reliant, reliant on luck. You just fight some really tough enemies there. I hate to see how people... Uh, without... Uh, okay, now for Islud, we just want to wade through and get a single good hit on him. So we want to go back to the Crystal Shield and Elf Mantle. I don't know if we need more than one hit, but... Um, we really can't increase the da I mean, at most we can increase our damage by 14. Well, not 14, a little bit more than that. Through the use of the, uh, of the, uh, diamond armlet. But I think we rather, I don't think that's going to matter in the long run nearly as much as just being able to dodge better. So, save state. And here we're going into Islude. Um, oh, shit. Uh, I think we want to go here. So I think those edges are the parts out in the hall. If they're not, we're just going to uh, reload, because I need to get, um, oh shit, we might want to, 
actually... Well, let's see how this battle starts out. But I think I want to switch to Germinus Boots. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, he'll probably take more than one hit, but, uh... Even if I... Yeah, but... Uh, we can... Germinus Boots will let us get to him turn one, assuming he makes that same movement every time. It won't go down to one hit, but uh, a hit and a Geomancy should do the trick. A counter flood, which will hopefully trigger. So let's see if we can do it this time. If not, we'll throw on the, uh, the Germinus Boots for next match. Alright, we can't get down to him. Keep hitting him with that. Well, that's not good. <laughs> One advantage of lesser swords over the... Well, let's see if... Uh, yeah, they are going to wake us up, so I can block. Oh, he's got concentration. Okay, well, then yeah. Uh, we'll take the Germinus boost. That'll let, allow us to run straight to him. I think... I guess he probably always has concentration. Nope. Oh. It's really nice to know that not only do we uh, get use, we get use out of both aspects of the Germinus boots, and in such a efficient, important way. All right. Awesome. All right. Uh, that knight's not going to make the attack. This one is. That did not just happen. <laughs> I am not doing that again. Um, we don't get that back until, like, uh, partway into Chapter 4. Um, I actually got quite a lot of Crystal Shield. Like, Crystal Shield was the most common drop I got uh, farming. I got, like, probably ten... I got, like, nine or more of them over the full course of the farming session. Okay, good. Oh, shit, that hurts. Uh, yeah, we're not going to survive another sword hit. He's got Concentrate, so... Okay, um, in that case... Well, if we can't dodge his uh, attacks, we can't dodge his attacks. There's no, I don't think there's any better way to handle this. It's not like we need the Aegis Shield. Um, let's just go about it as normal. Yep, yeah, this is probably just uh, a chance-based battle. Repeat the same pattern over and over again until he goes down. This, until he goes down. We just have, we're just going to have to get lucky. Although, to be fair, I think that knight's going to come up behind us every time, and we can't dodge him. However, we can take one of his hits and one of Islu's hits, so if he doesn't counter us, or we block it. Oh, shit. Uh, how much health do I have? I think I got a critical hit there, but no bonus damage, which really makes me sad. Okay, there's no way I can survive this. But, I just want to see what happens. Maybe he doesn't always have... Uh, concentration, I don't know. Yeah. So I know there are some abilities the enemies don't always have. Um, Gafgarian doesn't always have Geomancy. That, that goddamn knight doesn't always have Phoenix down. But yeah, I, I really think actually the enemies having Phoenix down is actually kind of a good thing. Um... Because the most important thing about resurrecting uh, your allies is preventing them from crystallizing. But it doesn't really help your... Uh, wow, at least we're getting lucky hitting him in the face every time. Oh! We can face this way and the knight won't hit us in the back. Okay. Okay, I think we got this. Uh, because, yeah, it's actually terribly inefficient in terms of winning the fight. You just do it so that your character doesn't die. Oh, shit. Um, let's see here. Can we take another hit? If we take a hit by him, we should be able to counter flood him for awesome. Okay, so if we can get the turn, this counter flood should uh, critical him and get him to run away, and we'll win the assassination battle. Hell, we don't even have to worry about criticals. God bless the rune sword. Yeah, this actually would have been this battle actually would have been much harder without uh, the rune sword. Um, Wygraph is actually going to be relatively easy without it, so. 
um, we're not actually losing that much from. Okay, so for Y graph, what we want to do, I think we want your minus boots to make sure we can get up to him and ideally get him to his back. Um, I don't really think any of the shields are going to be that useful because we can't block his thing. Um, but I think, actually, there's that one archer in the back who usually gets off a shot before you can kill Y graph. So we want the crystal shield for that. I don't remember. I don't think Ramza actually starts where you put him. I'm not certain, but whatever the case is, he needs to go into one of those two front spots. Oh no! I'm an Islud. I'm I kidnap girls for the greater good. Yes, because as Islud, I talk like this. You see, I love ah, uh, I love helium. I drink it all the time. Okay, uh, you did how much damage did you do to me? Okay, I can take two hits from him, although I really can't take, uh... Oh, shit! I forgot to face backwards. Uh, oh, well, on the plus side, we don't have to worry about succeeding at hitting him a second time, but I think the uh, archer's gonna prevent us from winning this. Hmm. Okay, um... All right, because at the end of this battle, uh, Wygraf is, like, crawling away half-dead. Okay. Um, where's my button? Uh, so then in that case, we'll equip a diamond armlet, and that should give us the extra, that might give us the extra oomph, I'm not certain. Um, but, it, and I'm not certain if we need the Germinus boots to get up behind him. However, getting up behind him isn't nearly as important as, well, one-shotting him. Ideally without invoking the wrath of the uh, mage or the archer. So getting up behind him might not actually might actually not be a good idea. We might want to start on the uh, on Wygraf's left instead of his right. Um, that'll keep us further away from the knight. All right. So can I get onto his side from here? Okay, I can still get to his side. We'll want to start on the right the next time. But there won't be a next time because we just one shotted uh, Wygraf. Hopefully, we'll be able to do that against uh, Wygraf three which will lead us into Velius with full health. Um, I guess the trick is we're go is to provoke him to attack, to charge a spell on us. Um, I think in that fight, most of the enemies end up using magic, so we'll want to bring along um, the Aegis Shield instead. What the hell? Where does, where does that text come from? Anyway. Wygraf is now like, yep, screw my ideals, screw everything, I'm selling my soul. Oh, Wygraf, you are... When I think of the villain of this game, I don't think of Vormov, I don't think of Ultima, I don't think of Saint Ajora, I don't think of anybody else but Wygraf. He is... I mean, first of all, um, chapter chapters 1, 2, and 3 kind of follow a consistent narrative. Uh, you know, chapter 1 is... Um, delete is Ramza's first time as a... Uh, squire leading up to the point where Delita died so they can introduce the fight where he kid so to lead it to the fight where he kidnaps Avili after everyone thought he was dead um, and at that point what you end up doing is you're trying to rescue the princess and then you're trying to take her to safety and then I think you find out that it was a trap and you go in there and kill her Chapter 3 is a little bit looser. You go home to talk to Zalbag, the good brother, to convince him of the crazy stuff that's going down. Um, Alright. Set up back to normal equipment. Did I even pick an option as to whether or not I read it? I, don't, I really don't know, but it doesn't matter, so... Um, hold on a minute. Let me go through this list, see if there's anything... Right, we already got the best shield. Um, yeah. And none of the other shields that'll appear will be useful. Uh, might as well grab this just in case the extra hit points somehow makes a difference. Your minus feather, rubber, spike shoot, spike shoot, battle boots, power, wrist, reflect ring. You, have a, you don't have a magic ring. What does a magic ring do? Silence and berserk. Yeah, I really don't want to prevent those generally. This is actually pretty important. Uh, prevents undead, and all of my elemental geomancies get a boost. I think it's a one third boost. Um. So yeah, chapter three, you find out something's wrong, and then uh, 
I, I think Alma gets kidnapped and taken to Orban, so you go to rescue her. And then, um, let's see. And now we got the Germanic scriptures. But then once we get to chapter 4, it's just kind of all over the place. Villains show up for the first time in chapter 4 in any significant role, whereas Wygraf was always there. Um, you fight Wygraf once in chapter 1 and twice in chapter 3. Fairly well spread out throughout chapter 3, too. So, um... It's really a coherent narrative with Wygraf really as kind of the final villain of that coherent narrative. And when you get to chapter 4, it's just run around and kill people with Zodiac Stones. Um, I, I won't say the story gets bad because throughout all that, Delita's being a magnificent bastard, but Delita's always behind the scenes. The stuff Roms is setting out to kill is not always so uh, in the forefront. Um, now, I think we've got... Yeah, I don't think we really ever need to check stores again. Um, we got the best shield, we got the best sword. We will, won't, we will want to pick up Ice Brand when it becomes available, and I don't know if it becomes available this chapter or not. Um, a diamond sword is nothing special, so there's no reason to use it, as compared to the ancient sleep and coral swords, which might come in handy on different occasions. Uh, we can't wear armor, so the reflect mail isn't going to come in handy. Um... Okay, that's, I think, everything for this one, but, um... Grog might actually be tricky because of the gun, so I'm going to want to go go in here so if I don't succeed the first time, I can take some of my time off to figure out how I'm going to deal with this fight. In fact, we probably should have equipped, um... Germinus, uh, Germinus Boots to try and get up there as fast as possible. Because the real problem here is, uh... I don't remember if there's one or two chemists. There's two chemists, and I'm pretty sure both of them have guns. And remember, guns do a fairly large amount of damage, and you can't block them. So, those guys are probably the most dangerous. The other guys aren't too big of a problem, because they're going to have a hell of a time hitting me. But, uh, and we got a female thief, too. That's just freaking peachy. Alright, but yeah, we need to focus on the chemists. Alright. Hopefully my counter flood damage will be enough to distract the chemist from shooting at me. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, apparently it is enough to distract them from shooting at me, but not nearly in the way I kind of hoped. Um, so yeah, we're pretty much just going to need to sword these guys. And sure, we'll want to use, uh, we'll want to attack along the way just to give them distractions, but... do do, -do. Shank. And hopefully... The other chemist will respond with a phoenix down. Well, actually, hopefully you won't, because... Okay, good. We're out of the chemists. Now we just need to survive from this point on. Good. Alright, carve out an exit. Okay, this isn't so bad. Um, yeah, because it's nighttime, that archer has terrible uh, accuracy. I don't actually, I don't think anything happens. Yeah, me being charmed doesn't do anything. If if the chemists were still alive, they'd take this opportunity to, oh, never mind. Oh, whoops. Save state here. So yeah, I think we can try and take this one. I kind of want to get this one behind me. Uh, especially considering uh, Yugo is next, and that's the, uh, that's another stumbling block. That one's going to take a while, so I kind of want to, if we can, we'll devote a whole video to that. All right. But yeah, we need to focus on. We need to focus down the. Actually, the best because they can heal the full. It's more important how many targets we hit rather than how much damage we do or who we do it to. Uh, the only way someone's going to stay dead is if we damage so many people they can't heal them all. Uh, yeah. Okay, good. That's don't act on him. Ugh, I hate how basic skill doesn't trigger a geomancy. It's kind of a pain. Alright, no, don't act on him. Yeah, that makes me so happy. In the night, they take, like, I think you take a 50% penalty on arrow attacks. Ah, oh, crap. I can't really get to there, so... Um... We do kind of need to make our way up, so... Ah, oh, shit. We'll save CT, I guess. Next time we're going to try to remember to bring Germanus boots. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much...
Germinus dead. Yep, alright, let's try Germinus boost. That'll help let us move forward a little bit more easily. Um, and really, the biggest threat of the battle are things that can't be avoided anyway. So, let's try this again. Um, if we get Germinus boots, we might want to move here instead, because we can start jumping up the cliff faces, I think. It's actually rather convenient. So many of the, what are essentially barriers, and oh, I think Ramza starts at the same place every time. Never mind, then. So many of the various barriers to movement forward are, part of me, are usually uh, jump four, which is really, I think is a really nice touch, because it makes um, things like spike shoes very often important. Rather than, like, occasionally if you get lucky, the plus one will help you. Um, but it's very convenient in here. So there are plenty of opportunities for it to be really useful. Now, we got bad Zodiac hands, that guy. Um, so we'll want to kill him second, I guess. Because we really need... Because, uh... We really need to just get them dead, but the, his, he can't do as much damage to me, which is good, but, uh... Oh, shit, he hit me? I'm embarrassed now. Okay, good. Alright, he's down. Oh shit, I forgot to... Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be tricky. Um, in fact, I don't think I can do it like this. Well, I guess I can get lucky with the counter floods. But, um... Oh shit, I'm getting not getting lucky with the killing. But, um, if they can raise each other it, like that, they can raise each other faster than I can damage them. Yeah, um... And she'll kill me whenever she gets a chance. So, yeah, we can't do it if we have a bad Zodiac with either of them. It really helps to have a good Zodiac. Well, I don't know, because I don't think I can deal enough uh, geomancy damage for them to want to shoot at me the first time. Well, whatever. Let's keep trying. We'll go a little bit longer. I think if we reach the 50-minute mark, we'll probably call it quits. Alright. I'll zoom it in. Alright. Thief bitch. We ignore so that we can elementalize these guys. I think going on the walkway is better, because that's got a chance of petrifying. That's the one that... Well, they might still carry soft, but... Uh, oh, god damn it, you worthless piece of crap. Can't you counterflood anything? What the hell is he doing? Bolt, huh? Wow, for 17 damage. I'm so glad. Okay, now if the first one... You are not taking my fucking shield. I am keeping this thing. Alright, that should finish them both off. Alright. Now, I don't know who the uh, chemist is going to prioritize. No, oh, no, 12 damage. Probably. Ah, he's going to prioritize me, which is the wrong move. Of course, now I'm rather heavily damaged, so I might actually... Oh, fuck. Ugh. Yeah, these guys, uh, these guys normally aren't that much of a threat, but uh, it's the guns. The fact, I mean, that's the, wor I, the worst part about them is it's not so much the healing, it's the fact that, and the guns, it's the fact that it forces us to rush forward. We can't hang back in place. Like, we pretty much have to dive in and sword the chemists because we just can't out damage them it, with uh, geomancy. Maybe if I got a flash hat, um, but apart from that. So, yeah. Hopefully, we'll get some. Don't axe. Oh, this is a uh, Kamaitachi, not a uh, carved model? Oh, that's... Well, Kamaitachi's uh, almost as good. Alright, good. He's weak, so that'll dis that should distract the other chemist, and if it doesn't, well, my gain, I guess. Okay. Yeah, dear God, they have X Potion. I think we'll call this the last one. Um, if we don't win, we'll just skip it. We also really need to have bad Zodiac with that thief, because she can uh, always get around to our back. And we can't wear mantles to uh, try to counteract. So 88, engine of 4. Yeah, I don't want to worry about the ones with the good Zodiac for when they want to try to shoot us. Accumulate, huh? <laughs> I think this is the only battle we'll ever see Accumulate performed. Alright. 
Yeah, they just do... Oh, God, those guys alone just do too much damage with the perfect hit rate. And, of course, the Squires have basic skill, which includes dash, which normally sucks, but when I'm down to this little HP, I really am more interested in, uh... I think this might actually be harder than the Lancer battle. <laughs> wow. Okay, fortunately the chemist isn't too smart, but... Yeah, I, we got the two chemists who can resurrect each other, and because it's not like... and because they both have throw item because they're chemists, we can't keep them separate. So this battle's actually going to take some thinking to get through. This might actually be one of... One of the harder battles, um, because I'm not, I don't really, I mean, we'd have to get, like, really lucky here. We'd have to just keep landing don't axe like mad. Um, so yeah, I'm not too sure what to do. Um, but I'll take the time off and think about it. If anybody has any good ideas, you can leave them in the comments section or on the Insane Difficulty forums. Um, until then, this is Signs, signing off, and have a good evening.